Hi, this is Mr. Wasman, and we are continuing our study of the study guide for our end of the year review for fourth grade math. We're looking at problems 12 and 13. As you can see, we're going to be looking at area and perimeter. So, what's the difference between area and perimeter? Well, perimeter is the measure of the outside of a shape. So if I want to say put a fence around a yard or if I wanted to put a belt around an object, okay, I'm going to go along the outside perimeter. So I want to know how long are each of these four segments. So what is the formula for perimeter uh, to solve this problem, okay? Well, you've got two measurements here. Now, the uh, folks who put together the study guide are assuming that because you know that a rectangle has two pairs of like measured sides that if the top side or the top length is nine centimeters that you will also know that the bottom uh, measurement is nine centimeters and that if the measurement on the left is three centimeters that the measurement on the right would also be three centimeters okay so the formula for perimeter is perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. So in order to solve that problem, what you would need to do is you would have to plug in the four numbers, the two lengths and the two widths, and that would give you your total perimeter, the amount of length that surrounds that rectangle. That's perimeter. Okay. Now, for area, area is a little bit different. Area is what we want to find is the measurement of the inside of that uh, rectangle. So 4 by 12 feet. So imagine you've got a, a long skinny room that is 4 feet wide by 12 feet long and you want to put down some carpet and you need to know how much carpet you need to buy, okay? So basically when we are div uh, finding the area, what we're doing is we're taking a shape that is four uh, feet wide and we are dividing it into four strips of one foot and then we are dividing it into columns of one foot squares and then what we're doing is we're counting the squares on the inside now my divisions are not to scale or equal but you get the picture so I need to find the formula for area and the formula for area is pretty straightforward it is length times width so what you would need to do is you would need to take the width of the rectangle and multiply it by the length or vice versa. You know, when you're multiplying two factors together, the order when the factors come in the problem do not impact the answer. So you're going to multiply those two numbers, 12 and 4, to get your area. And that is your approach. Okay? I think the biggest uh, struggle that most kids have when it comes to area and perimeter problems is learning the difference between what perimeter is and area is. We tend to mix them up and we try to solve for perimeter when you're asked for area and vice versa. So as long as you keep the formulas separate in your head, this is easy peasy. Okay, we'll talk again as we uh, plow ahead and continue working on these problems in future video tutorials. Thanks.